Hello, James here, and um, I got something interesting here. It's called a pulse oximeter, um, or oximeter, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It basically takes your pulse rate and your oxygen saturation, I guess, uh, percent or whatever in your blood. And the reason I got this is because I have sleep apnea. Now, I did this video a week or so back because I had bought this device that fits around your finger. And um, I tried it out. I was able to upload the data to the computer to a piece of software that comes with the device. Now, it's really hard to see this in a video. Let me see if the macro will help at all. No, it won't. Um, but there's basically a little line here at, over time. This one is my pulse rate. So it's, it's you know, going like that. And over here, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of a jump. And this matches um, the oxygen level in my blood. Now, this is a pretty long span of time, and the this is on a 100% scale, so it's really hard to see the lines, but I was able to take the data and convert it into an Excel spreadsheet. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that graph there. So I have all the data for when I was not wearing my CPAP mask, which is a pressure mask. I have another video, I'll upload it later so you can see that if you'd like to. But what's important is this now easier to see chart where their data range is a little smaller so you can see the jumps. This is the oxygen level in my blood. Yeah, it goes up a little, down a little, that's fine. But every once in a while there's like a huge drop. And really big drops. And really big drops. And in my pulse rate there's really big spikes corresponding mostly to the time when my oxygen level goes down. This tells me that I am not breathing, I'm suffocating, and then my heart rate increases and I probably start choking and gasping and then I wake up not sleeping and not getting oxygen. That's not good. Let me show you the chart with the CPAP mask on. So I wore the oximeter on my finger on a night when I did have the mask on and here's the chart. Voila! Uh, with the CPAP mask, um, as you can tell, the oxygen level, you know, there's a little bit of a peak and dip, but nowhere near the level before. Here there's one dip, and it pretty much stays within oh, the 97 to 98 range, as opposed to the other one which dropped till in the 80s. Now, I do have some spikes in my heart rate, but they're, I don't think they're nearly as bad, especially if you see these areas. Um, here, I did have some spikes and some really, really small dips. This could have been a nightmare for all I know. Um, but just to compare this again to the other chart, um, take note mostly of the blue line. Here's the um, good chart and here's the bad one where these this drops well into the 80s. Once again, with the mask and without the mask. This, this is bad. Um, this oximeter, it's a pretty good deal for just over a hundred bucks. You can check your oxygen level while you're sleeping. 